So one of the theme, uh, the key themes of this summit is going to be uh, on uh, uh, governance and uh, democracy, and uh, in, in, in some of uh, the communiques or in some of uh, the uh, reports that uh, has circulating on uh, the media, we uh, learned that some countries, especially these countries where coups have taken place of late in Africa, they were not invited to uh, the uh, summit. Uh, so how would you uh, analyze uh, the United States uh, presence or it's, uh, how it has been influential in trying to solve some of these uh, uh, security issues on the continent? How involved has the United States uh, been in the continent over the years? Maureen said the United States is a gigantic country with interest. When they talk about democracy, they are talking about Western democracy, and they have their own interest why they want to implement that democracy. I have said on this platform and many other platforms where I've been changed to speak is that I, I am a proponent of democracy, but I am not a proponent, proponent of democracy at the level of the battle of the gun. Let me repeat myself. I am a proponent of democracy, but I am not a proponent of democracy based on Western ideology and Western agenda. That I am not a proponent of that kind of democracy. The kind of democracy that they went and killed Gaddafi and installed chaos in Libya. I am not a proponent of that democracy. The kind of democracy that they want to bring down Paul Kagame because they believe that he's been there for 25 years, and when he goes down, what happens? Chaos, war, poverty, problems, anarchy, all over the place. I am not a fan of that democracy. The kind of democracy where they're going to allow France to rule and impute their own ideology, assimilation on the people of Mali, on the people of Burkina Faso, on the wall of West Africa, I am not a fan of that kind of democracy. Yes, Africans need democracy on their own terms. On their own terms. Because what do you see happening in Mali? Let me tell you something. What you see happening in Mali and happening in Burkina Faso and back, happening in Chad, the people are saying we are tired of being dictated leaders. Not because Africa is allergic to democracy. No. Mm -hmm. Africa is not allergic to democracy. Malians are not allergic to democracy. Burkina Faso, Burkina Bays are not allergic to democracy. Chadians are not allergic to democracy. These people are simply angry because the kind of democracy that has been installed or fall down their necks is puppet democracy. Installing leaders that are going to be answerable to Western people, Western leaders. That is the kind of democracy that Africans do not want. And I do not want that kind of democracy. So whether they invite Mali, or they don't invite Mali, whether they invite Burkina Faso, or they don't invite Burkina Faso, whether they invite whosoever, or they don't invite, doesn't really matter at this time. All that matters is, do you want representative democracy or you want puppet democracy? Africa said no to puppet democracy. They want democracy of people who represent their ideals. It's not that Malian want junta and military rulership. No. The same with Burkina Faso. No. All they are angry about is the kind of democracy we have is democracy that is installed from, brought from the West to fulfill the interests of Western powers. That is their problem. I hope the West can listen to this message and pay attention, including my brothers down south in the United States. Because when you want to fight Russia in, the United, in Africa, you have to pay attention to the ideas, the aspirations of Africans. It's not because they just sat down one day and got up from bed and said, no, we don't want France, we don't want the West anymore, we want Russia. No, they have gone through experiences that shown them that their interests were not being taken care of. Their interests were not at heart. It was Western interests that were being, impl that were being implemented or being carried out in their countries. Therefore, they said, like what the Frenchman said, rally ball. They were angry and said, done with the West, done with whoever is coming from the West and saying democracy, we want something else. That is what is manifesting in these countries. It's not a manifestation for uh, or love for uh, military junctures. It's a manifestation for real representative democracy. Let the West take note of this. So whether you invite them or not, and even those you invite, I want to send a message to the West.
I live here in the West. <clears throat> Africans do not hate the West. <clears throat> Africans do not have any problem with the United States or, or, or France or EU. If you want to deal with Africans, at this present dispensation in the 21st century, you have to know that you are dealing with a different generation of Africans. Even those leaders that are there in Africa, it is, I mean, uh, in, in, in Washington, D.C., it is just a matter of time. If they do not represent the people, I'm afraid, Mr. Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, I am afraid that those people will follow this the example of Mali and Burkina Faso. If they are not representing the interests of the people, if they are there to represent some other interest, it will just be a matter of time before you see the people to ri rise up. So to answer your question vividly, it doesn't matter that they have not invited those leaders. Those that are invited, what kind of democracy do they actually represent? That's the question they should be asking themselves. And as I said, it's just a matter of time. Those ones might follow the route of uh, Mahali or Burkina Faso or whosoever. So they should better be careful what, when they talk about democracy uh, because Africans are watching and they're watching very keenly. Afrique Media, le monde, c'est nous.